Hey, this is Scott Hanselman, and I'm showing you the Windows 10 Insider Preview. This happens to be build 10.1.3.0. So this is 10.1.30. I've upgraded from 10.1.22 to 10.1.30, so it's pretty quick uh, upgrade. Uh, and a very recent, I think this was just a week ago when I was showing you 122. A couple of things that I'm noticing right off the bat, and I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I don't think that I don't think this is representative of this build necessarily or a major problem, but it's interesting. So stuff is going on in the background. Now you can see Camtasia, which I'm using to record this, but WM provi WMI provider host is going nuts. It's been going nuts for a while. There's uh, WS App X has been going off for a while. The machine's working real hard. It's unclear to me whether it's collecting information or having trouble or it's mad at me or something's crashed, but uh, lots of stuff is going on in the background. Now, certainly these are debug builds. I can only assume that there's lots of log collection and things like that since we are insiders. We opted into that kind of log collection. But that said, it's interesting. This machine has not been under 30% CPU since I turned it on. It's just all a bunch of little stuff chewing on the disk. Not quite, not quite sure what's up. Now, things that are new in this build. Uh, first, if you click here on the Start menu, right now I'm in keyboard mode, so you can see I've got a Start uh, start menu as opposed to a Start screen. A couple things showed up. This network beta application appeared, but it says coming soon, so there's nothing going on there. Now, this is a little bit of a complaint video. There's a few things that are just, you know, little fit and finish things. For example, if I right click, oops, I'm also having trouble right clicking, by the way. Let me try again. If I right click, look at that font size. Okay, that's a pretty large font size. This is a good looking font where it says File Explorer and Power. This is a large, kind of silly, silly looking font, <clears throat> in my opinion. Now, if I right click on. See, I'm having trouble with the right clicking again. If I right click on something in the toolbar, in the taskbar rather, pardon me. There's my font size. Notice that it is gray. Okay, fine. It's that's They're saying that that's in line with the way colors are going, but of course if I click on uh, the notifications, which sometimes comes up and sometimes does not, My poor hard drive. Let's try something else. Try anything else. No. Right click. That's the new style. What I'm trying to show you and failing to is that the colors uh, match the background. Like right now, I've got a dark blue. If I go and look at the next background color, you'll see that the task manager has changed using the ambient color of the background. Okay, It seems to me, and I can only assume that it'll happen in the future, that if I right click on one of these things... Oh, by the way, notice this pulsing animation. You see how Chrome is pulsing? That's kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit of the jump animation in iOS X. I-O... excuse me, <laughs> OS X. And um, that's kind of interesting. So uh, you get a startup animation telling you that something is starting up. So I click on Windows Live Writer. This guy will start pulsing uh, briefly, very briefly. If it starts up fast, you don't see it. Interestingly, notice that my notification center and none of those things want to come up anymore. So that's unusual. We'll go over here to settings. Try the network again. No. Nope. Now I can go to personalization, I can click on start, I can switch it to full screen, there's my full screen, click here, there's my full screen start, still weirdly spaced in my opinion, also the hamburger menu, I'm not a fan, but whatever, let's turn that off, see where it says customize list, this is not obvious at all, if I hit file explorer, I can turn on downloads, let's say network, stuff I hit a lot, okay? Now when I hit the start menu, I've got those down here. Now they're marked with smiley faces now, 
and the spacing is wrong here, but presume that that will in the future be correct. Then I can click go straight to downloads. Notice also File Explorer has a flyout. Click on that. Then here is a really kind of a good example of the the colors being weird. Uh, you've got the, the the dark black here with the one size of a font. So you've got a font size here. You've got a font size here. Notice the D in Downloads and the D in Desktop are different. But then if I go and right click over here, I'm getting this gray. So you get this unusual gray. Uh, where it's like, here you go, and see here's, now the notifications flies out. So, are we going to be gray, are we going to be black, or are we going to pick up the ambient color? Unclear to me. This message, and a lot of these messages, you see how I'm clicking on notifications, doesn't necessarily do anything. Uh, I assume that they're hooking things up. One other change in this build, if I click on task view, that lets me switch between desktops. Let's go and start up, say, a couple of instances of Explorer, a DOS, a couple of DOS prompts. Let's do a couple of them here. Okay, then switch to an alternate desktop. Watch the taskbar. See how it disappeared? The DOS box is not on that taskbar. Here's one on this this desktop rather. Click over. These are on this desktop, and uh, I can switch between them. I always forget the hotkey for that. Here we go. Control Alt Left and Right. But the, the change here is, do you want stuff on your taskbar that is on other desktops appearing? And it appears that uh, that is not the case. So you're going to not clutter that up. And it was a little bit confusing before, so I think it's a righteous, uh, righteous change. They've updated a lot of the icons. They don't look quite so uh, cartoonish and kind of amateurish now. Everything's pretty much what I call the Zaxxon style which is uh, that isomorphic. A couple of times you'll see ones that don't look right. Like here you've got access media, uninstall, program. Those are not updated yet. If you go to add uh, open network and sharing centers, these are old style kind of XP icons. Uh, this connections icon is weird. Uh, so you find yourself in older places here, uh, you know, where it's like it feels like Windows 7, but then you go back out to... Explorer, and it feels more like, you know, like you'd expect it to, to look. But then you'll be in a desktop situation like this, and then there'll be a full screen, or what they used to call Metro looking looking icon. But then notice when I hover over that, you see that the tooltip there has kind of, an, of a gradient. That's a different tooltip than you'll see when you hover over other places. And you'll get kind of the new default, uh, default tooltip. I think I was seeing one here kind of a random different tooltip. So little inconsistencies. I'm still having trouble dragging stuff around. I'm clicking and moving and grabbing different stuff. Here I've actually, I'm not sure if I've grabbed two or I've grabbed one in the middle of something and then it figures itself out. But now there's an edge there. See? So that, yeah, this is now angry. Hopefully, actually I should tell someone about that. It looks like a pretty weird bug. Now I can resize that. You see that? That was in. That was actually outside there for a second. See? See how the menu it appears outside? So right click. Now it comes out large. So you know, fit and finish type stuff. A little bit confusing. They also, I understand, added a TV icon. I was told there was a movies and TV. I have not uh, seen that yet. I still have one called video. If I try to use my fingers to move it, uh, things work okay. And then, uh, oh yeah, and one other thing. Let's go to, we'll say Notepad. So Windows R, Notepad, File, Print. There is a Print to PDF, which is really nice. Having the ability to print to a PDF directly from anything without having to install anything like Qt PDF is nice. So if I hit Print, Save Print Output as Foo, now I've just made my own PDF. Here's a PDF. Notice the weirdo icon, though. Not sure what that's about. If I double-click on it, interestingly, I'm not sent to Microsoft Reader or Adobe Acrobat. I'm sent to Spartan, Project Spartan, which then has a built-in viewer. So, okay, interesting, but certainly a, a weird icon. So that is the things that I have noticed that are different in this build. Um, 
we are getting there a little bit at a time. But again, what's going on in the background? Everything's taking one percent. Not really clear what the deal is. Uh, so I'll keep doing build to build upgrades and letting you know what I see uh, as I install them. Thanks a lot, and please do subscribe to my YouTube.